If you've been thinking about starting a balloon business, you might be feeling overwhelmed. There is just so much stuff in the beginning that you have to figure out. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a checklist of steps that you need to go through in order to get started. Hi, my name is Julia, and I know you might be wondering, do I really know what I'm talking about? Well, a few years ago, I started a decor business on my own, and I did not have anyone to teach me on how to do it. So I've definitely learned a lot through a trial and error. And now I'm here to share with you what I've learned. So what are the things you need to start a balloon business? Let's break it down. First, planning. What do you need to remember about here? First is to find your niche. Second is to find your ideal client. Third is to estimate your expenses. And fourth is to set up your pricing. Each of those things are very important when you're starting off because you cannot please everyone and when you're trying to please everyone, at the end of the day, you end up lost. Setting up your prices is really important because what your pricing is will not be the same as somebody else in your market or in a different city. Calculating your expenses will help you to see how much you grow each month. And figuring out your ideal client will help you to set up your sales campaign in order to reach those people. By the way, we put all of this information in a free downloadable for you. So you can go ahead in the description below and grab it for free. Number two is your inventory. You do need to build your inventory in order to get started. I'm talking about having some inflators, maybe some bases, and definitely some balloons. It is very important to have at least basic colors available in your inventory or be prepared a season ahead for your orders. So you are prepared for your last minute orders and for the balloon shortage. But remember, you do not need to have all the colors in stock all the time. So just have a certain amount of colors, set them for yourself, understanding who your client is, and then you'll know what most likely they will order. Number three is your marketing. Here we're talking about creating your logo, creating your social media platforms, building your portfolio, and creating a marketing strategy. Creating a logo will help you with the brand recognition on the market. So when people will see your logo, they will know that you are the person working with the balloons in their area. Creating social media accounts will help people to find you and to see your work online. So basically, that will work as your portfolio if you do it properly. And planning your marketing strategy is important because at the end of the day, playing with balloons is fun, having social media is fun, but having a strategy will help you to actually market your business. So your customers will find you. Number four is to practice. The first thing important here is you need to decide on where would you like to start. Obviously, as a balloon artist, you have a lot of different options that you can create. So here, you want to narrow down the things you want to create with balloons when you're just starting off. There are so many different options out there, like organic balloon structures, balloon ceilings, balloon walls. Even twisting balloons is a totally separate art. Deciding for yourself on what you would like to start with will help you to top-notch that skill and then move to the next one. Also, it's really important to remember that you need to continuously practice things. You know, things are not going to come to you overnight, so every time you create a display or every time you create a garland, you will do better and better at this. Invest into developing your skills. Trends are not staying the same, so they're changing each season. Each season, there are new elements. Each season, there are new techniques. We live in an information era, and there are so many different masterclasses that are available for you online. Marketing, social media, how to create balloon creations. So choose one for yourself or choose several for yourself and invest towards it so you will get there faster instead of staying here today and trying to figure it out yourself. And the last tip I have over here, take pictures of your work. So every time you're taking a picture of your work, there are three things you can do. First one is you get to see your imperfections because on a 2D picture, you see it differently versus on a 3D life picture. Thing number two, you get to see how much you're improving each time you're creating the same design. And the thing number three is you have a picture to post on the social media to scream to the world, guys, this is what I'm capable of. This is what I can do. Hire me for this job. All right, guys, take a full advantage of that checklist. That will help you to stay organized and have some kind of a direction when you're getting started. Remember, it's not going to be easy. If it were easy, everyone would do it. But I know you got this. You're capable of doing this and you are going to slay. I will see you in the next video.